This is First Contact, stories of the call center. The other part, considering I've been a participant at a lot of events and I've been a vendor at events, I will say that there are a lot of times in which the audience that the event is catering to definitely seems to exclude the vendors. <laughs> it's like and you're there, your money online. goes into it, but you're really not the reason why people go to these events. And it's like, okay, well then find the money elsewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't make whole- any sense to me. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. And that's why you know, with all our shows, we try to make the exhibit hall the center of the show. Listen, uh, you know, a booth, whether it's $3,000 or 10000 whatever, I, you know, by the way, we don't sell booths for $10,000, but I'm just talking in general, you know. Um, oh, yeah, there's that much thousand- more. <laughs> yeah, but there are, but there are, there are shows that spit, you know, charge that much for large booths and all this. Stuff. And not only that, you're shipping everything out there. You're, you're having to have the booth cost. It, it's very expensive. And so, <laughs> for a show not to consider you the center of its uh, business and its its show is is downright disrespectful, frankly. And so I think um, you know we we have our comp- our exhibit hall always has uh, things happening in the middle of it, and it's always it's open, and we try to drive as much action as we can into that exhibit hall. In fact, we make people walk to the sessions through the exhibit hall floor in most cases, depending on you know the the, the layout of the the venue but yeah it it doesn't you know those sorts of things are are reasons why we do things a little different at the show and hopefully people get more value out of every dollar they put into the you know investing in attending a show um but yeah that's our outlook i mean we take our we take the approach that um uh what would we want when we're spending money on on being an exhibitor or sponsor at a show yeah i think that's critically important but we we don't want to forget that the people that are the attendees need to get value from that show. And that value has to not only align with the content, the things that the show is doing, but the vendors also have their part. The vendors have to provide value. They have to be able to give an environment that's conducive to people wanting to engage in conversation and feeling that when they leave that that they're better off than when they came. And so I don't want to just put it on that, well, the vendors pay a lot of money to show up, so give us all the attention. At the end of the day, yes, it's an investment. But the flip side is you're also there to do good work. You're there to service the audience that's there that hopefully if you earn it, they become your customer. And so I think that same thing applies, though, that while you're there as a vendor, as a participant as well in that experience, that everyone's on the same page of what everyone's part is so that that whole show is not only successful for the event coordinators, but for the attendees and the vendors that go and pay a lot of money to show up. So um, I'll leave it there, but I think it's great that that's the focus you're coming from. That's the approach you envision for how these three different distinct groups can now have their money better spent, right? And uh, time, of course, which is invaluable. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And and we're so excited about uh, contact.io. Um, you know, next next year, um, we're already, you know, discussing uh, content and bringing on, you know, experts and just making it better than it was last year. Um, and, you know, la- this last month, we're still we're struggling with, um, you know, some some companies that couldn't attend due to restrictions and pen- you know, due to the pandemic. Um, but we're excited for next year, and 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 if you don't mind anybody listening that wants to be involved uh, from a um, you know speaking standpoint, that you know we'd love to have uh, experts really share actionable information. I think that's a key too to a successful show. Not not companies that want to get up there and do a demo of their product. Now we don't do that, um, but we really want people that um, have a passion for for this industry the contact center industry and i want to share their expertise and help companies and help brands be successful because i um you know i have a a, a real core belief that if contact centers and, and brands can be successful um then this whole industry can continue to grow Co- companies like noble biz can continue to grow and expand if if the companies have the right tools and the right expert expertise 
uh, to be successful. And so I think that's where, um, you know, contact center comes in and trying to facilitate that. And, and any individual that wants to, um, you know, participate in that mission, uh, you know, hopefully they can reach out to me.